Hello again folks. Here we have another latest model from one of the latest sets to arrive. This is the excavator from the Meccano Maker System 2 model excavator set. And it's a pretty smart looking model. But it doesn't excite me anywhere near as much as the Ducati motorbike one does. Why do you think that is? Well, to be honest, this is going to sound a bit perhaps far-fetched. It has a very junior Meccano feel to it and uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're a certain age of course. The Ducati um, was a good build all round, uh, yeah, a couple of niggles, maybe on a personal level more than anything, but it was a satisfying build at the end. It wasn't too easy but it wasn't awkward or impossible. There were no real tricky bits there was an odd fiddly bit in a confined space, but the end result was quite good and it didn't take you forever to build it. Now this one doesn't either, this should take you just about an hour. And there are, as you can see, the sides of the cab are plastic and they're well made, but with those and the sort of matte black, well yeah I suppose a matte, it might, might be a bit brighter than matte, but the, the, the black finish on the metal parts gives you a false impression that it's all plastic and when I showed it to somebody they did ask the question were the black narrow strips such as these were they plastic? Well now it's just the finish perhaps makes you feel a bit like that uh, when you touch them because obviously there's not a lot of metal in them there's no weight in them um, it is a fairly functional model it is a bit new and stiff in places as I found out you can't push it along on anything like a hard surface that's got no grip and undulations like um, a breakfast bar uh, or a table. It won't grip. These are The tracks are too hard for that. Maybe once they get a bit used and worn they'll uh, grip a bit better but I feel it's unlikely. There's not that much weight in the model to help with you in that respect either. But uh, they do work well. Now, all being well, I don't know if that one's coming out a bit now, it just looks like it. Now, all being well, it should move on here, he says. So it's a bit stiff on here. I'm having to push down quite a bit, and then it slides in a bit. But you can see, even on here, where it's not really a fixed surface, it's, it's hard to push along. So that probably spoils the play value a little. But it does rotate. But, although you can get it all the way round, these front bolts catch the tracks because they're higher in the centre here. So again, a little, perhaps, slight spoiler on play value perhaps. Now it does have some levers or, well, movements really that perhaps should have proper levers on to make it a little bit more fun. But it uh, be easy to show you that on the other side. Um, talking of the tracks, you do get two spare pieces. Each uh, full track on each side takes 17 separate sections. You get two spares. Um, right then, this uh, arm for the excavator is uh, it's got a bit of a simple ratchet here, which I think are new parts as well. There's a compression spring behind this knob. But the knob is next to useless because you can't turn it to increase or decrease tension because the body is in the way. What I've done is adjusted it from the other side with the Allen bolt so I don't have to touch this at all now as long as it stays at the tension that it is. I can just push it and pull it and it should hold. Now it is a weighty bucket at this end and uh, just a fraction lighter than this it will flop down. There is a one bolt fix in here which is uh, of course now one bolt fixings are very good but the plastic parts that it's made up of uh, do seem to grip it very well. This is one of the what seem to be new parts to me anyway. I don't know if there's any in the uh, Evolution series uh, a couple of years back but um, there are a few um, one bolt fixings that I don't like um, but you know you sometimes have to have those. The thing about this model that I don't know it's right but it's my feeling of it it says 10 plus now this would be far better as a sort of an 8 plus one because it's yeah getting inside a little bit more fiddly when you start to put the cab together but nothing's difficult about it 
the, the perhaps most difficult thing to do is to get the tracks clipped together because they're new uh, and that ain't that hard but um, it has a a more youthful feel to the model with this uh, more use of plastic uh, mainly in these large parts which I ain't knocking them they're well made and uh, the idea is to actually for a bit of fun I'm going to use these to put some ears on my mechanoid or one of them anyway so we've got the ratchet as you can see in the the arm I'll swing it round that way and we've also got the bucket that moves now I've probably got it a bit too tight to be honest but it pivots there like that Let's bring it down a bit more so you, you can pivot there all held together with nylock nuts of course I have probably got it a bit too stiff but it saves it falling out uh, flopping around and what have you and it's dead easy to adjust anyway isn't it, with the spanner and the allen driver and uh, the bucket itself also moves, I'll bring it back up again and we've got uh, doing it with one that is slightly difficult, I have got it a bit too tight let's bring the other hand round here as you can see you can operate it like that as well it does work well, I have got it too tight really to be totally honest so again instruction wise with the black parts we need them outlined um, with the white outline some of it was really well just a black block other than that uh, there was a bit of paint missing I think you might be able to just make it out there around the edges of some holes on the black metal parts there were several of those with a bit of paint missing like that um, a one hour build that's the real beauty of this you get a decent model that does something looks smart within an hour or so and uh, it's got a fair amount of play value and hopefully once it's been used a bit and rolled around on the floor a little bit perhaps these will rotate a little bit better now they are quite taut on here they ain't going to come off so what I would suggest is get some decent furniture polish just spare a little bit on one of the pulleys both sides if you can get at them on the inside if you need to take the body off it's only one bolt anyway and an eyelock nut so um, and for a quality build make sure that's just tight enough without being lanky because it turns easier and, it, and there's no play in it so it's a smart looking model which I said in, I think I said in the review but it does have a junior feel so drop the age from 10 plus as it says on the box to 8 plus and I think if a kid builds this in say two hours who's not experienced at building Meccano models then I think they'll have a satisfying build they may have a slight uh, downer on it when they find out it's quite hard to push along or something but I think if the age limit was dropped it would be a better model a better a better sort of uh, be aimed then at a better the better market I think for it but uh, not bad Parts wise, as I said in the review, the half inch pulleys and the uh, o rings to go on them, great. There ain't massive amount of parts in the set if you take out the track parts. Again, the tracks will be useful as well. And uh, it's not a bad model. I suppose you could say it's not really my quite cup of tea. Perhaps if the black parts were zinc, it'd feel different to me. But uh, certainly not a difficult build at all.